Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Adventures with Carrie. Uh, it's been a while and we need to catch up. So first thing first, everything's blooming around the park. Check it out. Also, next thing is I recently uh, was in a YouTube fishing tournament hosted by Fishing with JBT, and uh, we had a channel cat tournament, and during that tournament, I also did a little jug fishing because I haven't gotten to fish a whole lot this year. I've been doing a whole lot of business-related stuff, and, you know... Um, there's just been a lot of adjustments in my life. So I've been super busy and it was a great opportunity for me to just fish any way I could. So I participated in that competition and I put the jug lines in and I caught my personal best flathead during that uh, tournament. And in fact, I caught, I had three, all three species of catfish. I didn't have a, a bullhead, but I had channel blue and a flathead in the kayak within like 30 minutes. I had them all three species in the boat at one time. Didn't catch any of them on a rod and reel. All, all for a jug. But check out this footage. Y'all, I caught my personal best flathead today. 10 pounds. This sucker is 10 pounds. Look at this. Let me get it over here. Look at this sucker. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Can't even get into the whole frame. Personal best. I love it. This thing, I was uh, disc jug fishing. This thing pulled the whole jug. I've never had a fish do this. And even bigger fish, like bigger blues, which I caught a, I caught a big old blue too. Check this sucker out. This is a 14 pound blue. Uh, yeah. Um, the blue catfish did not pull the jug underneath the water, but the flathead pulled the jug underneath the water like it, it kept disappearing. Holy smokes. Um, freaking awesome. Totally awesome. I am so happy. Personal best day here. Uh, this week of the year, last year. I had my personal best fishing day ever. Uh, so there's something magic about this week in March. Just so you know, and I caught, I had every species of catfish in the boat today. So it's a good fishing day. So other than that, I went through a pretty gnarly storm out uh, there. Well, so I'm at the RV park and I'm going through my first tornado warning. Um, it's after midnight and everything's been pretty good until uh, just a little bit ago and I think it's going to be fine for the most part but it's rolling over right now. Um, you can't hear the sirens out here in the country uh, but I can definitely watch my radar and I am in a structure. I am not in an, in an RV so yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to get off here. So I can uh, watch this radar and see how it comes treks across the lake. But thought I'd update y'all. I'm definitely going through my first tornado warning uh, at the RV park. I just want to point out, like, there's no wind. The rain is falling straight down. No wind. It's really, it's kind of really weird, actually. And I've also been having a little bit of fun.
but not too much fun because there's tons and tons of work to be done. So I have big news I want to share with you all. Uh, I kind of hinted at, at first, you know, I talked to, talked about the cabin, cabin rebuild, and I'm still working on that cabin. Initially, I had thought that that cabin was going to be where I was going to stay. You know, so you saw me really getting after it and uh, one of my lives that I did and trying to make as much progress as I could on it. However, you know, life happens when you're making plans. Or as others say, <laughs> you make plans and God laughs. And isn't that the truth? And so uh, I actually had an opportunity <clears throat> to go a different direction. And I have officially purchased uh, the home that the girls and I are going to be living in. And we move in at the end of this month. And so uh, the girls are gonna be finishing out school here in our current district. Uh, but once, once summer rolls around, We're officially official, so I'm super excited. Um, I messed up my hair, should have even touched it. Uh, super excited. Um, no more construction necessary uh, for me to get my family situated, and I can continue working on the cabin as a rental for other people. Uh, I don't that means I don't have to rush through it and. I have a little bit more um, comfort, I guess you could say. I'm pretty grateful about it. I'm super excited. I'm super thrilled. I will let you guys know. I'm not going to uh, spill all the beans right now, but um, I will definitely let you know that uh, I've got some big works in, in the plans. Again, no, nothing necessarily construction related, uh, but definitely lake life outdoor related. And, um, yeah, I'm super stoked. Uh, I've got a, I've been super busy, but I've got a very busy next few weeks. I started back to work. Uh, for those of you who don't, those of you who didn't know, I've been off the last couple of months and, uh, I went back to work. Today was my first day back and, uh, it was awesome. Very happy, very happy. And, so yeah, back to work, uh, new town, new schools, new hair. Yep, I cut my hair. It's it's cut off. Uh, I needed a. I kind of needed a refreshed look. I have a habit of growing my hair out really long and then doing this to it. Uh, so that's probably what's going to happen again is I'm probably just going to grow it out again really long and then go do it again. You know, it's a thing. It happens, but it's nice because if I sleep on my hair and I wake up, it still looks like this. And when you have curly hair and you go through lots of steps to get it to what you want it to look like, low maintenance is better. Anyway, yes, I have all kinds of awesome, like really cool things. Like once I get settled, uh, we've got some, I've got some big plans in the works. Uh, I might be putting the cart before the horse, but if I don't figure out the size of the cart, how many, how do I know how many horses I'm going to need to pull the cart? See, see where I'm going? So, you know, got to. You know, it's okay if I put the cart before the horse because what if I need more than one horse, you know? So anyways, I hope you guys will ride along with me on this. I'm super stoked. There's going to be so many more details to come. Uh, just know uh, I get to move in two weeks. That's why these walls are starting to get bare and uh, things are getting really real, really, really real. Now I have to go pack. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodles, y'all.